Robinson were even that well. In all of New York, they didn't come much longer than Roxy Weasel. To be frank, Roxy was a dog. Roxy was, he could smell trouble like other people could smell gas. But he never should have taken that blind alley by the side of the leading stick. Now, the guy in the chair here is Flash Frankie, the best lawyer in New York. Sure, he's a little shady, but he's the best. Believe me, Flash Frankie's silver tongue can get a guy out of jail quicker than a truckload of dynamite.
naturally going up a little uh, confused. I didn't see much treat for a spaghetti waiter at Mama Lugini's or a uh, pushing up Penn City Hall. So I drifted from this to that, you know, walking the line, trying hard not to fall on either side. Until that is the night I walked in here to Pop Becker's bookstore.
NYPD described the event as a turtle disaster. <laughs> to the Brooklyn area, had a consortium of the NYPD today announced that he was looking for a suspect with one eye. He later added that if he didn't find him, he would try to with both eyes. Reports <laughs> <laughs> come in of a gang and incident on the Lower East Side involving a certain Robert Robinson, known to the police as Roxy the Weasel, believed to be a member of the gang of alleged mobster king, Fat Sam Stiketto. Fat Sam was also reprimanded today for causing a scene with the bookmakers. He was sent to be furious that he backed the horse at 10 to 1 and he came to a quarter to 4. <laughs> and finally, police arrest, uh, arrested, uh, arrested two kids yesterday one for drinking battery acid and one for eating fireworks. Captain Salty reported that they charged one and left the other one off. <laughs> Anyway, 
What do you do? Ah, uh, this in there. Oh, crooked, huh? <laughs> no, not quite. I find files, boxes. In fact, it's a good find myself once too. You were? Sure, I could have been a champion. You could? Sure, but uh, for a couple of things. Like what? Well, I dug legs <laughs> and a glass jaw. <laughs> Some champion. Oh, come on, I'll do well for a couple of rounds. But I was about as tough as a ball of cotton wool. This jaw had more glass in it than Mason's window. One punch was enough to send me back to the dressing room. Generally on a stretcher. I mean, they'd, they'd slap my face, get up with smelling salts, and I'd come around kidding myself like it was a lucky punch. Now, come on. How many times can you feel lucky? So, uh. I wise up for my face. Look like a plate of mashed potatoes. A good bit of contentment, Charlie. Look, buddy, case wondering, I ain't got a surgery. So you mean, or are you in? Uh, no, we'll have two nanny woozles with nuts, cream, and chocolate sauce, two cream eggs on a donut, and a cup of two straws, please.
I would not be advertising it. <laughs>
the legendary Seymour School Martin in Hell. Have you looked at your splurge that day? I'm afraid I can't answer that. <laughs> no, not to take me to the set. No, I do not know the answer. <laughs> Have you looked at your sauce? No, the source of the guns. Oh, uh, no, yeah, I, I mean, no, uh, you have to ask the captain that question. Right then, Audrey, come on, break this crowd up. This is police business and police business, what we have got to do. Uh, 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 Is it true that the guns we knew to my only one man? No comment. Oh, come on. Show me a sandwich. No comment. Oh, actually, I don't know. It's not happening. Eh, uh, Audrey, go get the little fingers. We'll have a word with him. Right then, buddy. So, we know there were five guys here. What else did they see? Nothing. They didn't see nothing, mate. Oh, <laughs> Yorkshire and the Joy and a Scouser. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a joke here somewhere. You <laughs> oh. <laughs> must have seen something like it. Yeah, calm down. Didn't see nothing. Don't you tell me to calm down, Clark. It's the last thing you'll ever do. Get out of here. You are no more hooking at Mickey. Aye, on. <laughs> right then. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
sorry, boss. What did I do wrong? Talk to me, boss. Tell me what I did wrong. Just the noise. They do nothing. Ah!
You got yourself a driver. Boy, this is good news. Knuckles, fix me a drink. <coughs> See, this shit look real fine. I'm getting thirsty. Love thirsty. Hi, Bangles. Is Bobsy there? She won't see him, Bugsy. She's mad. She was holding a torch for you, hiding in the Statue of Liberty. Look, just uh, tell her I'm sick, will you? You're sick? Yeah, sick of waiting here. I'll see what I can do, but don't count on it. Thanks, Bangles. Be it wisey. Give me a drink, Bobsy. I brought you some flowers. I'll see something like I stand for being so smart, okay? They're for you. Look, I've got to go. I'll see you later. Yeah. Like ten years later. Look, lousy. I got a job. You don't get paid for standing in bright lines, Buster. A legit job. We'll have enough money for two tickets to the coast and to Hollywood. Knows. We're always looking for new stars. I believe when I see it. Two minutes, Lousy. Okay, we really have to go. Oh, look, Lousy. <coughs> Press <me. coughs> Sure. I know. I know. I never trust anybody who says, trust me. But I was on a level. Honest I was. I really wanted to get rid of those kids. But I had to earn the 200 bucks first. Driving Sam and Looney. Looney Baganzi. Well, when they say he was off his trolley, they were not kidding.
low. Yeah, it's all good. Lousy. It's for you. It's bouncy.
Fat Sam loved my face, looking like a playful of yesterday's fettuccine. Hey, Monty, how you been? Oh, Rusty Joe, ah, this love. And you, 
show why I was. Get up the wrong one. I went, oh. oh. He was shooting the ropes first he jumped. He could be a champion in no time. Think about it. Tiger. 
got a message for you. What's wrong with the Western Union? I tell you so, Tiger. It's everyone you want to. Not me. Now come on. Let's go with the suspended old strength and see. No, it's a little late. I'm waiting for someone. You are? Get for Blousey. <clears throat> go in Hollywood. You know what they say? Don't pack me, you pack me, you drink home. Sam's in trouble, Blousey. I'm sure I can see her okay. Be right there.
Hey, Leroy, wake up. Come on, Leroy. Who is it? Leroy, it's me, Bugsy. Come on, get up, get dressed. Got a job. You got me a crack at the title already? Nah, Leroy, this is a, a different kind of job. Oh, well, back in the morning, Bugsy, I'm tired. Come on, Leroy. It'll be too late in the morning. Oh, come on, you'll be working with bad sounds to kill. Get your belly bad where it hurts. And, uh, there's $200 in it for you. $200? I'll do it! Thank <laughs> you. 
Babyface.
And it's not too late to change